A Chandler police detective, the lead detective, takes a stand in the Chad Daybell trial. He's the Idaho man accused of murdering two children who lived here in Arizona at one time and killing his first wife. Daybell could face a death penalty. Yeah, his wife Lori Vallow was convicted of similar charges last year. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum joins us live with details on the Arizona connection on day four of witness testimony. And John, Christina, this detective testified last year for the Lori Vallow trial as well. Detective Nate Duncan took the stand for most of the day going through direct questioning, cross-examining, redirect and recross. Uh, very crucial testimony by the Chandler police detective. Duncan took over as the lead agent on the Charles Vallow murder case about a year after the fatal shooting in Chandler. Charles was Lori Vallow's fourth husband, shot and killed by her late brother Alex Cox in July of 2019. Cox claimed self-defense, saying he was hit with a bat by Charles during a fight. Detective Duncan broke down details of the homicide case and laid out specific text messages between Daybell and Vallow to prove they were in an affair months before their spouses died. The potential motive of money alleged was discussed as the jury saw how Lori reacted to being removed as a beneficiary of Charles' $1 million life insurance policy. The prosecution trying to prove motive in the case against Daybell arguing that he murdered his first wife, Tammy, and Lori Vallow's children to start a new life. In a text message from Daybell to Vallow just a couple of weeks after the murder of Charles Vallow, here's what the defendant wrote. Tonight I figured out who I feel like. I'm a grown-up version of Harry Potter who has to live with the Dudleys in his little space under the stairs. Every few weeks I get to escape and have an amazing adventures with my goddess lover. But then I have to return to my place under the stairs, feeling trapped. But I sense permanent freedom is coming. Tammy Daybell would die in October of 2019, a few months after that text message. Trial continues tomorrow at 7.30 our time. If you've been following the Daybell case, we are sharing that live stream on our Fox 10 Phoenix YouTube channel. I'll be providing live analysis and commentary as well throughout the day. Live in the control room, I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigates.